Hey y'all, it's me. It's me. It's Richard D. Hey, it's been a long time since I made a little video, so there was a shooting here at Marshall County over around Benton, Kentucky the other day, and that's a hard thing, especially that being so close, and I've been through that town and worked at that town quite a few different times. But what bothered me most about that shooting was I had seen a post where somebody, a parent of one of the kids around there says that they're going to start homeschooling their kids so they don't ha end up getting shot or killed or things like that because supposedly they just don't like how it's going. Well, first is first. If parents raise their kids the right way, discipline them like they should, bust in their asses, when they do something wrong, get them off these cellular devices, things like that. Yeah, I know I'm on a cellular device right now and on social media and all that. And all my kids, but two, have those things. But also my kids are outside kids. They like to hunt. They like to fish. They go outside and play in the mud like kids are supposed to, like people did back in my day. When I was growing up, yeah, you people say I, my day, I'm only 32. But there's a big change from when I was a kid to now. There are school shootings happening all the time. Yes. It's terrible. Yes. I hate it. Yes. It kills me inside thinking of the parents and the brothers and sisters and everybody that had to deal with that, of the kids that were in the school. But if they wouldn't give these participation awards just because somebody participated in something, if they actually made people fight and work to get something in this world, I think it would be a better place. President Obama, whatever you want to call it, him, I don't even, he wasn't, he might have been a president, he got elected, but he did a lot of bad things for this country. He's the one that, my opinion, put a lot of this in motion about the shootings and all this, of the things he did. I'm not getting into the political part, I'm just speaking my mind here because that's what I'm doing. If everybody actually how can I put this? If people actually was a parent to their kids and did not let their phones and the TVs and the video games be the parent for them, things like this wouldn't happen as often. People say it's the guns. It's not the guns. I've got guns in my house. But you know what? I taught all my kids gun safety and gun respect. People need to learn how to do things right and not by what the studies show and all this stuff. Because back in the early days, they didn't have all these studies and things like that. People and kids got by with, that, before, with eating corn before they were two years old. Not having all these different types of formulas all the time. And all these different studies telling them how to, how to parent their child. I don't agree with that. I parent my child the way I was parented. To be taught respect. And to be got taught about God. And taught to take care of my family. And my family is number one. Not to worry about these video games and these Xboxes and Playstations or whatever these things are. My house, I have a total of six kids. You know what? In my house, there is not one gaming system, period. We don't even have a Wii. Because I don't want my kids stuck playing games all the time. I know some of y'all aren't going to like this. I really don't give two flying flips if you like it or not. Yeah, my kids know about God, but yes, they know I also drink beer. I like beer. I'm not an alcoholic. I don't drink every day. I don't drink every week, but I like beer. But my kids know how to respect me. They respect their elders. They respect their grandparents. They respect their teachers. And yes, my kids know how to shoot guns all the way starting at age five. They know how to shoot guns, carry guns, and do everything. So, if y'all don't like it, I'm sorry. I do apologize. And my thoughts and prayers are with the families of the Marshall County, Kentucky shooting. I hope y'all have a good day, and God bless y'all, and I'm going to say this one last time. Be a good parent, like you were taught, and how you were raised, not what the books and all these different 
studies from these people that are stuck in these books all the time and all these computers think that you should do it. Do it the right way. I love y'all. Bye-bye.